Okay, I failed to show you how much apple cider vinegar you need to drink uh, three times a day. Or if you just have indigestion, just do it when you have indigestion. So if you can look in the cup, I would say that's less than a fourth of a cup. Okay. Can you see that? Yep. Okay, and then you put whatever amount of uh, liquid you want, whether it's juice, Kool-Aid, water, and just drink it down. I don't suggest that you drink it straight like that, even though you could. I, I think it's kind of harsh and you don't want to do that. I think you would like to mix it with something, okay? Okay. All right, and I'll be back so that I can show you how we're gonna do the can uh, candy up the uh, sweet potatoes, okay? Okay. All right, candy yams is coming. Nice. Okay, I'm back. So remember, we cook the uh, sweet potatoes in the pressure cooker XL over top of the collard greens. So now they're boiled, they're done, they're tender. So what we have to do now is make them into candy yams, all right? And the way you make candy yams is butter, I use light brown sugar and cinnamon, okay? So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna sprinkle the cinnamon lightly, not a lot. About that much, I'd say that was a teaspoon. And then we're gonna um, put the brown sugar in it. So I'm gonna put two hands full. That's one, two. So if you don't have a pressure cooker XL, you it, don't sweat it. You can boil the sweet potatoes on, or the yams, either one is the same, on the stove, drain the water, put it in a pan, put the, um, brown sugar, the butter, the cinnamon over it, and then you can put it in the oven on 400 until it browns, okay? Okay. Either way, but today I have the New Wave air fryer, so I'm gonna put it in there, because of course, you know, the New Wave air fryer, we'll talk in a few minutes, right? Yeah. Okay, let me wash my hands. So you should gotta, pay him for advertising this. Oh, I know, I know. Exactly. Well, I like turning it on to people because, let's face it, we've been in the kitchen for hours on end for years. Yep. That is all over now. So, you see, I put, uh, I'm going to put about four slices of butter. Okay. Cool. Now, I'm gonna pull this out. And you wanna spray this with uh, a cooking oil. If I can find it. Here it is. This is a buttered flavored uh, spray, okay? not a cooking oil I'm sorry I should have said butter flavored spray so you're gonna spray the bottom that's so that it makes your cleanup easier I mean come on why cook in a few minutes and then you got to take forever to clean it up then you want to sit this down in here okay and then we're gonna put it in now, on the new wave uh, air fryer, you're, you're supposed to preheat it, okay? So you set it all at once. So this is your on and off button. We're gonna turn, we're gonna turn it on. This says preheat right here, the top button on the left. We're gonna hit that. It says preheat. Now we're gonna set the time, okay? So we hit the time underneath the preheat button right here on the left bottom. 
and that says it's gonna cook at 360 degrees 360 then you hit it again and you set the time the time is automatically 10 minutes but if you want this uh, less you can go up and down so I want to shoot for 10 minutes okay so that's fine but let's say if I wanted to do eight minutes I just hit this down button and go to eight see if I wanted to do it more I hit the top button and go up more but remember we're gonna do 10 minutes and the reason why I'm setting it for 10 minutes I think it's gonna cook in five minutes but the preheat is going to be running for about five minutes of the 10 minutes. So really, it's only going to cook five minutes, okay? okay? Then you hit the red middle button on. It's on, off and running, but you notice it says preheat. So it is not actually cooking until that preheat is off, okay? And when it's off, it will say ready. This cost me $99 at Bed Bath & Beyond. I had a 20% uh, percent off coupon, which took it down $20 off. So I think this is a good deal. I really, really enjoyed having this. Um, it has made my life much, much easier because it takes less time to cook. But as nice. you and I know, you can't cook everything in the Power Pressure Cooker XL or this new wave air oven. Sometimes you gotta go back to the roots. The stove. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna check on the cornbread in the oven and we'll be back.